Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it's the first Saturday in May which means it is time for me to update you on how I do with my April crafty goals. I hope you'll stick around and find out. I want to say a great big welcome back to my subscribers and regular viewers. I'm so glad that you're here again. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. So this year I decided to participate in the Crafty Goals with Amalia collab here on YouTube and it is time for me to stop by and tell you how I did with my goals in April. Overall, I think I did pretty well. So my overall goals for the year are to craft more, spend less, share the love, and grow. And I think in April I did pretty good on crafting more, sharing the love, and growing. Not so much on the spending less, but we'll get to more specifics about that in a minute. I like kind of a visual tracker for each month for how I'm doing, and it also helps me remember if I have met my individual goals at the end of the month. So I color in these hexagons on my crafty tracker chart. So you'll see I have quite a few hexagons filled in for the month and there's a nice variety. I did get pretty crafty in April and even with the amount that I have here I could have had more colored in but I stopped keeping track probably around the 24th of the month. It seems like this is never on the level of the house that I am on. So next month I'll try to do a little bit better. If you're interested in downloading this crafty tracker for yourself, I do have a video linked in the description box below where if you're a subscriber to my channel, you can download this and keep track of your own craftiness. Now for the meat of this video, how did I do individually? My crafty goals are divided into monthly goals that I want to reach each month. And then at the bottom, I have some yearly goals, just things I want to reach sometime in 2020. We'll start up here with the top. My goal is to make two sheet loads of cards. I did only do the one that I made the video for this month. I did use my silhouette at least one time. At my school, we have what we call squads, and each adult who works full time has a little group of kids from kindergarten through sixth grade that we meet with usually once a month. So the kids have somebody else in the school they can recognize and build a relationship with. And this month, because we're not actually in school to have a squad meeting, our counselor asked us to write a little note to each student since we won't see them before either next year or when they move on. And I personalize each one of mine and I use my silhouette to cut those out with. I did use an old stamp set probably more than once. I used an old embellishment or tool. Um, the limit crafty spending to $50. Nope, didn't do it. Let's move on. I did send cards to at least two family members. I sent two cards to friends or coworkers. I think I was at four or five. And then two cards to subscribers. I did send a few more than that. And these cards, I actually get the addresses when you send cards to me in my PO box. Over on the right, I did do my four on Friday collab video. This is a collaboration I do with my friend Danny and we try to do it every month. This month, our theme was embossing folders. So I made four projects using embossing folders and posted a video here and Danny posts on her blog. I will link that video below if you want to check it out. I did my crafty goals collab video at the beginning of the month. I did create and share the sheet load of cards file. And just yesterday I put out the May sheet load of cards if you want to check it out. It's linked below. I left love on at least 20 YouTube videos, 10 Instagram posts and five blog posts. And I did reply to all of my YouTube and Instagram comments. And for posting at least eight YouTube videos, I think I posted almost double that. I was pretty crafty this month. I think having something to do as a creative outlet has helped me not focus on kind of how sad this all is and sometimes how it gets lonely. So I've also been doing a couple other crafty things this month that I haven't necessarily filmed. The first one is that I registered for online card classes Spring Card Camp 1 and it's been fun just every morning my daughter and I have been watching the video together and enjoying those. I haven't put many of the techniques into use but I have gotten a whole lot of things that I want to give a try. They are going to have another one coming up starting on May 6th. It's $25 and I think it's 20 days. 
Again, it just gives you something to look forward to each day. I will link it below if you wanna go check it out and maybe register. The second crafty thing that I've been doing almost every weekday is my daughter and I are drawing along with the Art for Kids Hub. I know it says Art for Kids, but I have to tell you, I am genuinely enjoying this. I have posted some of our art over on Instagram. If you wanna go follow me there, I am at Call Me Crafty Al. You can see some of the things we drew to celebrate my daughter's birthday. And speaking of celebrating birthdays, mine was in the middle of the month, and even though it was kind of like a stuck at home birthday, one of my best birthdays ever as an adult. I have a video linked in the description box below where I talk more about it. Now let's move on to how I've done for my yearly goals. I would like to do four lives on YouTube. I did not do any this month and I have not done any so far this year. I want to reach 12,000 subscribers on YouTube. As of May 1st, I am at 10,563 and you might notice that I did hit the 10,000 mark and I am celebrating right now with my 10K subscriber giveaway. I'm giving away four 25 gift cards to celebrate. If you want to find out more about that, I again have that video linked below and this video needs a secret word. So let me go ahead and give you my secret word for the giveaway. Today's secret word is goals. My next yearly goal was to get two months ahead on my sheet load files and do a collab call. I have done that, I did it in January, and my collaboration team has been sharing their creations for a couple months now. Actually, earlier today, they all shared those. Guess what, I'm gonna link my video below with my process for the month, and it has the links to all of my collaborators if you wanna go check them out. And finally, I would like to reach 800 followers on Instagram. Right now, as of May 1st, I am at 731. If you haven't already followed me on Instagram, I would love it if you would consider going over there and following me. Again, I am at Call Me Crafty Al. Overall for April, I think I did pretty good. Let me know below if you have any goals that you're working on this year and how you're doing on them. Now, make sure to go check out all of the collaborators for the Crafty Goals with Amalia collab. They are linked in the description box below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.